That's bare fruit this evening on Shrove Tuesday. It will be the bees who get us started. Anthony Wordsworth is over the ball in the centre circle as we await referee Sonny Gill's whistle. Let's get the negative stat out of the way. Sonny Gill's last game in the middle for a Barnet match was our 4-1 defeat away to Woking, mm. where coincidentally he showed a Woking player a red card. So let's hope it's not a repeat of that this evening from a Barnet perspective. We are underway and it's immediately played back to Liam Daly who opts to play a long ball forward looking for the height of the Barnet front free but he doesn't find anyone but the ball bounces to Michael Petrasso here who's taken up a left wing position in the opening exchanges here and he gets a quick ball in words were flicked on and it's there and it's turned goalwards by Courtney Baker Richardson and that could have been the perfect start brilliant play by Ben Williams just to break up play in the middle against his former club Petrasso does what he does best gets to the byline puts the ball into the box clever flick by JJ Hooper but not quite enough power from Courtney Baker Richardson looking for his first Barnet goal of course Jerome Binham Williams a one time Halifax man looks to play it down the line but it goes out of play here's another look back at that opportunity is Michael Petrasso excellent work on the left hand side flicked in on by Wordsworth and poked goalwards unorthodoxly by Baker Rich positive start Aaron from Barnet, here's, here's that chance again I said it was a hooper with a flick, it was Anthony Wordsworth instinctive flick and Baker Richardson as I say, not quite enough power to, to trouble the goalkeeper but Barnet will be pleased with the opening stages here Tutelage played down the line here towards Earring and now it's out as far as Woods Woods across to Bradbury clips it in Richards Everton is under it but it's going to find a Halifax man who goes for the spectacular and it's cleared the Bees Terrace with Bradbury play crosses the halfway line it's now with Campbell to King Jamie Allen now looks to get a cross in got Richards Everton in his way opts to play it back instead Finds Halifax man in space, he drills it low and it's a fine save. Needed to be made from Scott Loach, he wasn't 100% sure if that was drifting past the post or not. Patient build up from the Shaman Aaron and they did well to work it to the edge of the box and looked to be a decent strike. I think it was a shot that Loach maybe couldn't take any chances on and probably did the right thing to, to push it past the post. Kieran Green it was who fired at goalwards and yeah we can't really tell from those angles whether it was drifting past the post or not but here is the corner it's going in near to the goal and Scott Loach had to be quick across to punch that away because that looked like that was creeping in yeah it was a it was a dangerous delivery and it did look like it was going all the way in um, Loach did really well to just be alert to, to punch clear certainly going in and he had a crowd of bodies in front of him to get to it here comes that corner again and it's headed across goal but doesn't trouble the Barnet back line there'll be a chance to reset it, he does the FA Women's Championship so yeah I've, I've certainly seen we know him what he's about times uh, at that level of of the game he's that kind of shared tier ball in this is two Halifax men nothing given by Sonny Gill is there appeals for a penalty as Campbell went down quickly taken by Loach and it's an excellent ball if Baker Richardson can keep it in he does JJ Hooper's just barged off of it Baker Richardson no half-hearted challenges here that was a great challenge from the Halifax man and here's the penalty appeal you have seen them given I mean we don't have VAR at Vanner on the National League level of course and uh, doubt we ever will but you imagine crossed in towards the far post Richard Everton who gets his head on it it's down towards Daly who volleys it just past the post and that was a golden opportunity for the Bees 38 he joked with me on Thursday before we knew that the, the Solly Old game was in doubt but he was going to get his first goal at Solly Old Moors which would have been quite a quite the uh, fairy tale story but 
he won't go much closer than that this evening perhaps it was a good effort from the big centre half and just wide of the far post maybe the one man who's making sure it's taken in the correct position here is that chance from Liam Daly the best chance for the bees so far just fell to the bees 38 it is Woods steps up Loach stays planted to the floor but I think pretty confident he was going wide it is looking much better than it did last season Michael Petrasso turns and runs into a bit of space here. He might have to go in alone, Michael Petrasso. And does and finds the bottom corner. The Canadian has opened the scoring yet again. His seventh goal in B's colours. He just can't stop scoring. 1-0 to Barnet. He's at it again, the Canadian magician. He's, he's ran, he's done what he does best. Get at defenders, run towards the goal. I mean, he's bent a shot. And it's a tidy finish. I would like to see the replay. I thought it was going to be a, a, a comfortable stop for the for the Halifax goalkeeper, but yeah, he'll be disappointed. He'll be really disappointed with that. Not to discredit Petrasso, who finally someone's taken the game by its horns and, and had a dig and ran it at the Halifax defence, and Barnett find themselves ahead. Looks to deliver across from deep. Daly gets his head onto it. It's going to fall to another Halifax man. He'll play it down the line towards Senior. A little good give and go with Tom Bradbury and the ball is in and it's flashed across the face of goal and it, oh, it was just crying out for a touch from a shaman player but they didn't find one but Halifax will come again Noel Byrne for to Woods here's Woods again he's going to line up a shot and he does and he fires it just over the crossbar but Scott Loach did have that covered it's been a, a positive response from the shaman Aaron, they're just being patient with their build-up. And the strike there, as you say, always rising and Lochi had it covered. But this ball into the box here could have gone anywhere. It's good defending in the end, but it's a flick that really could have could have caused real problems. Now again, down this right-hand side. Plays it to the feet of Allen. Oh, to Von Campbell, sorry. Here is Campbell, looks to get a shot away. It's blocked by Richards Everton and goes behind. For a Halifax corner kick. And there's a minute to click down towards half time. The Bees have to stay as alert as they did for those who are in the fortunate enough position. And we do consider ourselves grateful that we are able to steal the 10 games at this moment. We really do. Absolutely. William Williams is throw towards. Baker Richardson and Wordsworth will let fly and what a goal that is from Anthony Wordsworth his first for the Bees and I doubt he'll get many better in a black and amber shirt what a finish Anthony Wordsworth what a strike from Anthony Wordsworth Aaron the ball sat up to him and he's hit it and you think surely not surely not and it's bending and curving and he's left a Halifax goalkeeper with no chance and he's put the bees in a commanding position what a strike and we'll take another look at that we were in a very great position for it and I think you're thinking oh, go on then and he does and he beats Sam Johnson all ends up and it's right into the Pick top one corner out. and he knows he's scored a good one there with his celebration as well there was big celebrations on the Barnet bench there. The game's far from done, Aaron, but you said it, it. We needed to put a foothold on proceedings and that goal will do just that. Find themselves two goals up. Crosses in, Barnet have to be alert here. Jeff King is in a world of space and finds a way back in it. Barnet just switched off. You're at your most vulnerable when you've just scored and Jeff King was in a world of space at the far post and has found a way past Scott Loach for a second time this season. And that just about changes Tim Flowers' half-time team talk. Tim Flowers will be absolutely furious, Aaron, to, to get yourselves in the, in the position to go in 2-0 up and you can make your game plan. 2-1 opens things wide wide open and Jeff King as you said was in enormous space and it was a great finish as well from the angle game well, on what a game we've we've had this first half we haven't seen thin 
finds the head of Ben and Williams and there is the half-time whistle and wow a couple of minutes ago we'd been talking about King bringing the ball in field and now across to his opposite number fullback Halifax looks to get a shot away and it almost finds a way through towards goal it was Jack Earing claiming a handball there that it might have struck a Barnet arm but didn't see anything outstretched or outside the, the silhouette of the body I think is how they go off of it in at least the Premier League take another look there it does go in between that gap in between Daly's arm and his thigh but nothing is given and Hooper wins a free kick it's, I mean Tom Bradbury senior just crosses in and it is a good one Binham Williams has to get his head onto it but it will come back in again with Neil Byrne Binham Williams gets a tail on it and Dunn looks to head clear Petrasso aided by the slip of a Halifax man in front of him and now Baker Richardson looks to get away and it's brought down and it will be a Barnet they do find themselves 2-1 up now but Allen skips away and here's a chance for Devon Campbell but it's going to come through to that man King again skips away from Binham Williams but it's a great challenge from him and now Wordsworth can nip in and get the ball cleared to JJ Hooper back to Wordsworth that is an excellent ball to Baker Richardson can't get the cross past Senior He'll get it in again and it's going to be a low header from a Halifax defender whipped in and it is a good delivery and it's towards the far post and it's the one part where there was no Barnet players there was a good strong attacking line but there's just a little gap there members of this match is to lose a man Barnet did defend resolutely whilst Judd was temporarily sidelined but uh, you think the pressure would be up against them absolutely the way Halifax play as well they, they're patient they wait for spaces so Barnet have to keep 11 on the pitch first and foremost here's the free kick Headed away by Wordsworth. It's going to fall to Jake Hyde. How he'd love another goal against his former club, and it's fired goalwards and has to be turned over his own crossbar by Richards Everton. It's a good bit of defending in the end. Yeah, good defending. It was another one of those ones where the ball goes, can go anywhere. Thankfully, from a from a Barnet perspective, it's over the bar. But that was a great delivery from from that free kick. Here is the corner, out swinger. It's another good delivery from Halifax and Jake Hyde's clearance looked to strike potentially an arm, nothing given. The ball will come back in again, it's low and it's hooked clear by Daly and now questions will be asked. The deliveries have been good. Aaron, I've been impressed with what Halifax have tried to do from, from set pieces, so Barnett got to defend well again. Here it comes. It's another good delivery from Halifax and Daly just had to make sure cleared up to JJ Hooper who's all on his own up there now understandably so as Barnett not looking to commit too many bodies forward in these final stages here come Halifax again though with Earring back to Woods clipped in finds Hyde in a world of space played across goal and Jubb just had to put that behind and questions are being asked of the Barnet defence, of the official over on that far side. Daly's just being warned here by Gilt. That would be more than a warning, potentially. If he's not careful, and that would be another player treading a tightrope. But here's that final change, and off comes so Jack Herring. For Halifax, the field is number 10, Jack Herring. He's been replaced by number 20, And Dom Tier comes up. Halifax again, there's going to be five added minutes, a minimum of five additional minutes to the end of this second half. Barnett just needs to get this ball away. It's going to come forward again. Here's Ma. It's the feet of Hyde. Crossing opportunity. And it's a good cross and it's good headed behind by, by Liam, Liam Daly. Daly. If there was a man of the match vote, I, I would have him right up there this evening Aaron I think he's commanded the defence superbly he had to head it he had to head it quite simply absolutely 
No signs of Johnson running forward yet, but here is the corner. Whipped in, it's another good delivery. It's found the head of Hyde, who heads over the par bar. A real let off. It's in the corner though. Here is Senior again. Now Allen bringing the ball in field across all the way. And now crossed in. Dangerous ball headed away by Daly and it drops to the edge of the box where Woods has a fine effort of goal blocked. Ali Ferran is taken. And Fowl does excellently to beat his man. He's just got to hold this into the corner. Under pressure, maybe he's going to bring it into the box, in fact. Wins really the corner play kick. by Mohamedou Fowl. He's been excellent since he came on, Aaron, in this game management plan from Tim Flowers. And he's just done exactly what he needed to do to win the corner. Tim Flowers is asking the questions. <laughs> Why have you not blown up, referee? He's asking the fourth official and the linesman that's in front of him. But you feel this will be this. This will be that. Corner is taken. There is the final whistle. Flowers has found the winning ingredient on Shrove Tuesday. It's a first league win in 126 days, and it could be a vital win. Can the bees kick on from here? You can see what it means to the Barnet staff. A very, very crucial win. They're finally on double figures in terms of points. Thanks to this evening's win. Adam, some thoughts from yourself. Get in there, Bees fans. Finally, we are back in business with a big three points here at the Hive London. And I think Barnet, on the whole, deserved their win this evening. I thought they were very good in the first half. They created some good chances, got themselves that two-goal lead. And it would have been very easy to panic in the second half. But all credit to the defence and Tim Flowers, all of them, to a man, put a shift in this evening and game management-wise, got it spot on. A big, 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 big win. Could be a huge turning point.